Okay, so first thing you want to do is look at the woman. What are you looking for? Well, you're looking for debris, you're looking for particles, you're looking for gravel. It should be clear, it should be crisp. Now, if you know the wine like I do, you know in 1997, Bordeaux had a serious rainstorm in September. It washed all the rocks, all the gravel, all the grass, all the dirt, all the sand, everything washed right down into the vines. They had a lot of trouble with it. That's why you should always take a magnifying glass with you and a little flashlight. You don't want to be breaking particles of dirt. Let's look at the wine a little closely. All right. I think I see something. Matter of fact, I know I see something. Just as I suspected. Look at that. Look at that. See? Sticks. This wine's no good. I throw it in the trash right away. Right now I throw it in the trash. But because we're training today, I'm going to keep it just to show you. All right? Let's look at some more. Let's look some more. Here we go. Let's look some more. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah! I see something else. I knew it. 1997 was a crazy year. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just as I suspected. Look at this. A rock. Now, if you didn't look at this wine, you were drinking it, and you swallowed this rock, you might not live to see another day. Good thing we saw it, right? This wine's no good. Throw it away. I'm going to hold on to it, though, because, one, we're trained. And this is a good thing to learn. All right. Now we looked at the wine. Next thing you want to do is swing it. Swing it around. Some people say swirl. I like to say swing. Now why are we swinging? Huh? Why are we swinging the wine? Let me tell you a little history. Since we're in France, Marie Antoinette, very famous lady. I believe she was married to uh, Napoleon. Every time she would have dinner, she would swing her beverage. Doesn't matter whether she was swinging her soda, her coffee, her tea, her juice, or her wine. But word got around that she was swinging her wine, swirling her wine, because she knew something nobody else knew. It caught on. People in France started to swing. People in Germany started to swing. Italy started to swing. Soon, everybody on the globe was swinging. There was a bunch of kids that got together and put some music together and called it the swing. It took over the whole world. Everybody was swinging. Little did they know, Marie Antoinette was only swinging the wine because she had arthritis in her wrist. By swinging the wine, it loosened up her wrist. That's right. Then she could use her fork to eat. You have to swing your wine. You have to swirl your wine. No. But I'll tell you what. If you get in the habit of doing it, it loosens up your wrist. You'll find that eating is a lot more enjoyable. Next thing you want to do, smell. Smell the wine. What are you smelling for? Huh? What are you smelling for? Well, it should smell like grapes, right? It should. Some people say, I get a funky smell. It's so funky. Well, if it's funky, it's because it's got B.O. Sometimes when a wine maker's making the wine and he has B.O., he's out in the field all day working, he's home making the wine, he's sweating and sweat stripping in the barrels, the wine will get funky. You don't want it. If the wine smells funky, it's trash. Get rid of it. You don't want to be drinking B.O. Now, now that you got this smell, smells like grapes. This one smells a little bit like vanilla. I would probably throw it away. Matter of fact, I smell a little, ooh, I would probably throw it away. Why would you want a wine that smells like vanilla and ooh? Tell me, why would you want that? Why would you want a wine that smells like grapefruit? Gooseberries, twigs, saddle soap, you don't. You want a wine that tastes like grapes or smells like grapes. So if it doesn't smell like a grape, throw it away. 
I don't care how expensive the wine bottle is, throw it away. All right, now, the next one, dip or taste. The next test is taste. Let's taste it. Now, when you taste the wine, you want to take a little bit in, breathe in a little bit of air over the wine. Just breathe it in. That takes the wine all over your tongue. Don't take in too much air. If you take in too much air, it'll turn into vinegar right in your mouth. I taste coarse dirt. I taste saddle soap. I taste cherries. I taste blackberries. I taste vanilla. I taste oak. I taste everything but grapes. Now why is that? Why am I tasting everything but a grape? Because there's something wrong with the wine. Throw it away. That wine's garbage. Call the waiter back. Have him replace the wine. Open up a new bottle. As a matter of fact, Open up as many bottles as you have to open until you find a wine that's good. It should taste like a grape. It should smell like a grape. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoying wine is very simple. It's got to be right, and it's got to match your food. Next time we get together, I'm going to teach you how to pair wine with food. Now, I hope that you learned something today, and I hope you understand just how fun it is to drink wine. With the knowledge you just learned here today, right now, you can go out and open up your own school. You don't need to go anywhere else. Watch this video over and over and over till you get it locked into your brain. And you can open up your own school. Join some of the elite social wine clubs and taste wine with the professionals. You can do it after watching this. Are you going to be as good as me? No. But you know what? You'll be pretty good. As a matter of fact, you'll surprise a lot of people when you show up with your magnifying glass, with your flashlight. Most of you guys don't even know what a flashlight's for. And you can tell them that you learned how to taste wine by W.C. Gatchel. And if they say anything, you just tell them that W.C. was drinking wine when they were learning how to button their pants up. When they were learning how to tie their shoes, I was already drinking wine. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this quick little course on wine tasting. Till the next time I see you, I really got you.